What it do guys, Majima here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to set up and use PS3 Remote Play on your Sony Ericsson iNo. First off, you need to register the device, and we go through the settings here, Remote Play settings, register device. Your options here are PS Vita, PSP, mobile phone, which is what we're going to be using, and PC. So clicking on mobile phone, we see we have a code, we have the name of our system, and we have the time we have. We have about 300 seconds, so no need to rush necessarily, but we want to get this done. Looking at the phone itself, we're going to hit menu, go over to entertainment, we have a list, and we're going to go to remote play go to options device registration and since I've already done this I'm just gonna replace what I already have and we're gonna get a code that's all it was telling us so we got two six six nine four three three nine Searching for PS3. Searching. It is searching. All the searching. Done. Connecting. There we go. Registration complete. Register complete. I don't know why they said register complete, not just registration. Probably would have sounded better. Doesn't matter. Hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and say yes, start remote play. Configure blah, blah blah we'll be fine. You can pick either Wi-Fi or 3G. Uh, for sake of this, I'm gonna use Wi-Fi because I cannot get um, 3G to work on these older phones. I I don't know how to set it up. I have, you know, of course I have 3G, 4G with these uh, with plans, but I I just don't know what to type into the phone to you know to get it to work. So we're gonna go ahead and try to search for the PS3 see what happens. Now you don't have to do this, but uh, to make this process go a little, a little more smoothly, I'm going to go ahead and go to remote play on the PS3. And it just tells you uh, that you, it will begin remote play and you can do all that stuff. On the phone, it's timed out. I'm going to go back in Remote play is in progress, and there we go. I don't think you have to do that, but it looks like it definitely is the faster process. As you can see, I am in remote play. And let me see if my volume's down. Because you should be able to hear everything that I do. There we go. And this is Remote Play for PS3 on Sony Ericsson iNo. Uh, a couple things to realize. You can look at stuff like pictures, listen to music, and videos. You cannot play any games, not even PS1 games. Which, to be fair, let me see if I can bring it up. Key okay, assignment. We're going to look at the key assignment because it's pretty important that you realize they're putting the entire, not even the entire, they're putting part of the DualShock onto the phone. So you definitely, uh, you don't have two of the shoulder buttons, you don't have either sticks. So it's, uh, it's not quite a full experience, but um, for what is actually made into this, what you can actually do it gets the job done. So, select. Okay. As far as connection goes, well right now, okay. It's not perfect by any means, as you can see, like, the artifacting there, and that it doesn't always quite work, but when it does work, it's impressive, I would definitely say, for a technology this old to be able to connect to a PS3. I mean, this, 
I think probably came out after the PS3, but for a mobile phone of that time to have any kind of connectivity is pretty cool. Once again, I have to stress, like even uh, PS3, uh, PSP remote play, or any kind of remote play, you cannot do stuff like Spotify. Cannot be used during remote play. Now, which one is? That's... Nope. No, it's... Oops. Go ahead and start again. I wonder how quick that is after I disconnect. Okay, so that was pretty quick even. Oh, that's that's circle. That's fine. As far as... I'm not sure about downloaded video, to be honest. Let's see, can you... Can you load the store? That's That'd be pretty cool to, uh, to see. Cannot load the store, so... You can't buy new movies. Maybe if you have... A purchased movie, you might be able to watch it. TV services. Netflix. No. Live events. Nope. So you can't really use much other than basic, I have a video on my PS3, I want to be able to watch it wherever I am. Or there are certain songs on here that I don't have on my phone. Pictures. And once again games. No gaming on this. And even if you could, look at that, that that would be cramped, it would be awful anyway. One thing that you can do, or two things that you can do, the first thing is the web browser. And it's not quite uh, fully functional. Since all you have is the d-pad and you don't have the, I think it's a left stick for like a free cursor moving. I think you can still navigate, but it's not nearly as, yeah, you just, it's not nearly as nice as it should be. i going to close that. But, one thing that mm, you may or may not find cool, but back in the day, on the go, you could say, do a message, create a message, and write out a message. It did not stop me from doing that. I could just type out the message, it would be a pain to uh, to actually type it out, because you're doing it letter at a time, but you can do that, and that's actually kind of cool. Now you have, uh, uh, what is it, PlayStation Messages or something on Android, and that is far better, and uh, it works natively, so. That is PS3 Remote Play for Sony Ericsson Hino. Andre out.